So, uh, we've put the cutter in its rough position. We're ready to start relieving it. And we're going to use this knob down here to start bringing it into the cutter. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, start the wheel. And as we get closer, I'm going to show you what we're trying to do here is get the uh, red off until we just have a little bit left on there. And I'll show you, and I'll probably have to take a picture of this to show you exactly what it looks like. So here we go. We've got our carousel tipped on 25 degrees for the relief. And now I'm going to slowly bring the cutter in to the wheel using this knob here. Are you getting that? Yeah. So I'm using this and we just heard it hit. And now I'm going to slowly bring it in until they get most of the red gone here. And I'll take a, show, a photo of this in a little bit to show you how close I got it. Okay, and once we've scraped off most of the red, we have just a little thin line of red there. Then we're just going to walk the cutter right around and put relief on the rest of it. So now our cutter is relieved. We've relieved all of it except for a little bit of the red I've left on there at the split line. The next swing we, uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to swing the 60 thousandths radius on the end of it. And to do that, we're going to loosen this knob here, slide this back, loosen the lock, slide it back, slowly slide it up close to the wheel, lock this knob here, and then we're going to index this into the wheel like this with this little knob here. And we're going to go back and forth. Now I've got this pushed all the way towards me. Remember we were using the red dot there. I've got the stop pushed all the way towards me. Okay? The collar. And we're going to clean up the end until all the red's gone. And then we're just going to swing it around, finding the high spot on the wheel. And I don't know how well you can look at this now, Heidi. Can you get a? Can you see that pretty well? Mm -hmm. There's your cutter with a 16th radius right in the corner. And the last thing we do is put it up against the wheel and relieve the back side a little bit until we come right up to the radius. A little bit more. Just like that. So now we relieve this back and back that way. And there you have it, a quarter inch cutter with a perfectly ground 16th radius on it. And we'll repeat this procedure for all the next cutters that we're going to sharpen here. Thank you.